Sabrina here, and you're watching Weather Sphere TV. Let's take a deeper look at solar flares. We have Jeffrey Newmark, the Heliophysics Division Director from NASA, on the phone. Jeffrey, can you explain a solar flare? The sun is uh, generates a, a big is like a big magnet. It, it generates its own magnetic field, <clears throat> and in at times this magnetic field gets wrapped up. Uh, sort of like a, a rubber band being twisted and turned, and the um, occasion what happens is when this when you when you twist and turn this enough, it re, it, it does a quick snapping, like a rubber band might snap, and it releases a lot of energy, and that's the solar flare. How will this affect the Earth? They have multiple effects. So from, from the NASA point of view, again, we're doing the research, the science, so we find these events very exciting to, to look at they, 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 you know, from our scientific aspect. Uh, there are, and again, you could talk to, to, to NOAA Space Flight Prediction Center for the details and the impacts, but they do impact our technological society, and this is something that NASA cares about, our own spacecraft as well. These these charged particles uh, can have an effect on communications. They can affect electronics on satellites. Uh, there are effects that can be felt on on electrical systems on the ground, uh, power grids, uh, airlines, communications. So there are there are effects. Um, and and but NASA's interest is more on the on the science side of that rather than the effect side. What's the correlation between solar flares and the northern lights? It's the solar storms um, that, that when the impact, so you can think of these, we, we call them a magnetic cloud, in fact. So it's these ch charged particles travel from the sun throughout interplanetary space. The Earth is also surrounded, we know it has its own magnetic field. That's where you can use a compass. That magnetic field expands out into space, and it, and it actually shields the Earth. So there's this cloud, this magnetic cloud that's traveling through space as it interacts with the Earth's uh, magnetic field. Then what happens is we, um, the particles can uh, get channeled, follow the magnetic field lines down towards the other poles. They, these, part, these charged particles then can accelerate part of, um, our upper atmosphere and they generate the northern lights. So these storms are actually the cause of what hap of the northern lights. And in fact, the next few days, we should actually see some really nice aurora from this latest storm. Thank you, Jeffrey. If you'd like to learn more about the northern lights and the best locations to view them, visit weathersphere.com news.